welcome to my U.S. Virgin Islands travel vlog. We just made it to our beautiful Airbnb on the east end of St. Thomas. Uh, we flew in this morning um, around 1.30 p.m. It was a really quick three and a half hour flight from New York City. My body is just totally confused right now because I just got back from Oaxaca where it was really nice and sunny and the weather was beautiful. And then I went back to New York City and it was cold as hell, like 20 degrees. I was back in New York City for like three days. And now I'm out here in tropical, beautiful island weather again. So I really need to nourish my body, um, which is actually exactly what I'm doing on this trip anyways, because we I've never been here to the Virgin Islands. Um, we primarily came here because we wanted to escape the cold a little bit. Plus, you don't need a passport to come to the U.S. Virgin Islands because it is considered domestic. And we are going to be here for five days. We're going to be on St. Thomas, and then we're going to take a ferry to St. John for a day trip. This trip is going to be all about relaxing, exploring the beaches, um, enjoying the weather, and just really winding down and having a very, very nice and relaxing time. But let me show you guys the Airbnb and I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now as well because it is very, very beautiful. So this is the view from where I'm standing. It is so beautiful. It's like a harbor. You can see some ocean there. Um, but let me start by giving you guys a nice tour of the Airbnb. All right, so you walk in and you come into the kitchen area. Let me close the door because we've already gotten attacked by mosquitoes so far. <clears throat> so you got this really expansive kitchen area with a full stove, um, a nice little kitchen island where you can prepare some food. I've already got some of my snacks over. We are gonna do a grocery run, but I wanted to bring some of my own snacks to have at night. Here's a cute little like breakfast bar area as well. And then you walk through here and you get uh, our living room area. Again, that beautiful harbor view. Here's a nice dining area and then a cute little seating area, no TV, because why would you need a TV when you have this view? Um, and then you walk in here and here's the bedroom. We've got a nice queen size bed. Put my luggage here. All I brought was a backpack because I'll be living in my swimsuits. Um, here's a closet area. It even has a hair dryer and an iron, which is so nice. A lot of room to put stuff. And there's a toilet plunger thing. Um, and then here's our bathroom, which is so much nicer than I thought it would look like in the pictures. It looks like it's really renovated. $11.99 for this orange juice and I was drawn to this kombucha from the U.S. Virgin Islands and it's $10 for this bottle. Oh my goodness.
having a slight food coma right now. We are at Koki Beach and we are supposed to get in the water and maybe do some snorkeling. But that food at Vinny's got us a little bit tired. It was a lot of food, it was pretty salty and it was like just very comforting, good hearty food. So now we're laying down on the sand. We got some sam samples of like this alcoholic slushy. It was so good, but we're trying to save money and not do that because lunch is pretty expensive. So yeah, just gonna relax now. to watch the sunset. Secret Harbor, this way. This is the beach that's closest to us. It's only a five minute walk from our Airbnb. And we're gonna see if we can kind of catch the sunset here. Good morning everyone. We are getting ready to head out for the day now. Um, we had our cereal and our smoothies this morning and today we are going to go to Charlotte Amelie which is like the city center here of this island and then as well as Magan's Bay which is the most popular beach here. I wanted to quickly touch on like not having a car here on St. Thomas. It hasn't been too difficult. I think you would just need to factor in like the prices of cabs, which so far have been about six to eight dollars per person for like a ride. And um, I think the, the number one thing is that you really have to think about strategizing your day. Like if you want to go from this beach to this beach, you kind of have to think about, you know, how much the cab is going to be or when you're planning like around restaurants. So just make sure that you strategize your itinerary if you don't have a car here. So you can plan to kind of minimize your cab costs if possible. Anyways, with that being said, we are gonna head out. We're gonna go to Charlotte Amelie first and maybe grab lunch there and then we're gonna go to the beach. Let's go. Look at this view. Look at this view. Crystal blue waters. This is a halfway reward. We're going down. Oh look, the chicken's crossing the street. Or the stairs. See him? But look at this view. Very, very pretty. It is hot. Very hot. But this view is gorgeous.
very pretty beach, very big, and the waters are really calm. And we got this picnic table here, luckily. Um, the sun keeps on going in and out, so it's like shady sometimes, but then sunny. Um, we're just gonna swim in the water a little bit and relax. And we are here for the happy hour. I got a wine and some nachos, and this is our view from the table. We're gonna watch the sunset again. Um, it's five o'clock, and the sunset's around. No, it's actually five twenty, and the sunset's around six. Thank you. So we might be able to catch the sunset again. This is exactly where we were yesterday to catch the sunset. We took those safari taxis um, from Magan's Bay all the way here. It was about a 20 minute ride. It was really fun. We were the only ones on there and it was like bumpy. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't rent a car because this, the roads are really steep and narrow and winding. So it would have been kind of just like nerve wracking for me to be in a car. Like, And because you have to drive on the left side, it's kind of unfamiliar. So being in the safari taxi was really just like nice. And the scenery was beautiful. You get like views of the water and just views of the hills. So it was a very good decision. If you don't want to rent a car, you really don't need to. Um, you just need to plan your day accordingly and then bring cash with you. That 20 minute ride was $20 for two people, so it wasn't too bad. It is our last day here in St. Thomas. We got kicked out of our Airbnb at 10 a.m. Just kidding, we just had to check out by 10. And our flight isn't until 6 p.m. today, so we kind of have like a full or a half day-ish today to kind of finish exploring the island. Um, but we have all of our bags here with me, with us. So it's not like we can go anywhere, you know, too crazy. We're just gonna basically go to a beach and then go downtown to eat. Right now we are at the Secret Harbor Beach again. Just relaxing before we move on to our next destination. Local ice cream and coffee proudly serving Virgin Islands coffee roaster. And it's in this little shack. We're at the Crown Bay Marina. before we hit the airport. And guess what? The airport is literally right behind us. So we are at Lindbergh Bay Beach and we, it's 2 p.m. our flight's at 6. So we were like, where is like a quick beach that we can kind of get like our last little beach session in before we board our flight? And luckily this beach is literally right where the airport is. Like that right there might as well be our plane because we're flying Delta. There's public restrooms here. Sorry, it's a little windy. And then there's some showers. So I'm gonna get in the water one last time before my flight. 
Yay, look at how pretty it is. Even by the airport, like I would think that pollution would affect it or whatnot, but it doesn't. It's still just as beautiful and pristine.